Okay, another project. Uh, German wagon wall. I don't know what brand it is. Case is in terrible shape. Cracks, breaks, things falling apart. Oh well, take it apart, see what's going on. <coughs> Got a pin that holds hands on. Now, the pin out. And there's a washer. Another little washer. Hand. I'm gonna hand them. Then the dial is held on with pins. Godzilla put that one in. Ready. Dial itself seems to be in fairly decent shape. It's porcelain. Cracked or broken. I'll put it over here. And then we're going to take a look at this movement. Here's the trademark. It looks like some almost like a wreath. This trademark. Almost uh, reminiscent of Carl Warner, but that's or Werner, but that's not a there's a C for Carl, maybe. It looks like an H in the middle, it's certainly not a W. Uh, Carl Werner had a trademark that was like a horseshoe. But uh, it sure looks like, I don't know what this one is, I have no idea. Okay, you got suspension spring off, and you take this bracket off the bottom. It's just held on with two screws that are into the couple of the posts. thing to do is let the spring well let's check see if it's operating at all looks like the thing runs Does it trip run this way okay does hammer okay well, we'll let the springs down 
Got two springs running strike. They're in barrels. Very dusty. Uh, Twelve. Oh, clear down to a ten. Okay. So all we gotta do is we just gotta so this winds right. Wind it. And we gotta release the click. Let the spring slide. Okay, all the way down. And the click. Springs are let down. Okay. Then we can start to take it apart. Yeah, okay, we'll take the anchor out. Side. Okay. Well, take a look at the suspension spring. Looks okay. Well, it shouldn't be in there that tight, though. We really put that in there tight. I'll we'll deal with it later. Hardened pallets. They're not really worn at all. <clears throat> nice looking little levers. Both wind right. Screws boogered up.
really didn't see any significant wear at all. I don't think this needs to be done anything but just cleaned. should come right off. Ooh, it's stuck a little bit. <clears throat> stuck in that corner. Mm. That shouldn't be. Okay, there we are. This comes out. All right, front plate wheels. Just dirty. Just plain dirty. the two trains. This is the run train or the uh, time train and this is the uh, strike train. The motion works is in there. Just a couple of gears and the count wheel, what have you, are in here. That's it. Interestingly Repairman in the past actually scratched into here what supposedly they did. I need to get some glasses here. This one says repaired or REP November 1964. No, that was just a month before I came back from Korea. H is like Alberti and then I don't know what the heck that is MST oh, Ur oh, that's German probably Urenmeister UHR that's Ur, that's clock Yeah, clockmaker, huh? I don't know. And then there's another one over here. I can't quite read what that says. Uh, almost looks like BLN. Be 61. I doubt that. I don't know what the heck that says there. I 
anyway the 12 beats heck out of me but take note there's a spring here and take note of where that is push that out Cleaning these posts. That looks a little better. Okay, here are most all of the parts once through the ultrasonic cleaner. A few other parts here that will be cleaned by hand. And I uh, just wanted to show that <clears throat> whoever this person was, they uh, did some crazy stuff. Noticed on this. Yeah, obviously, the last time this was repaired was uh, a bushing was put in, and whoever did it wanted to file off the bushing flush with the with the uh, plate, but they didn't do a very good job of polishing. They left a bunch of scratches on it. I guess they figured it just wouldn't show, so they didn't care. So there's the parts of the initially been cleaned. Now they got to each get hand cleaned. By hand cleaning, I mean I'll go through and I'll make sure, like, in all these uh, pinions, that everything is cleaned out of them. Uh, you can kind of see in there. There's, I see a piece of piece of gunk in there to begin with. But we clean those out. Everything gets real nice and shiny and clean. Meantime, okay, we we'll have uh, all these cleaned now and polished. And uh, it'd be interesting to show you here. Oh, nice and free. I put the time train back in. Watch this. Give it a little push. It runs that long. There's, there's, and that hasn't been oiled. Nothing. The pivots have been polished. There is no friction in there to speak of. Uh, and I don't see anywhere at all, so the time train is just fine. Okay. Strike side. Same thing. I just don't see anywhere in that at all. And 
nice and clean and it runs very free I also didn't see any pivots that were flopping around so it's in good shape no bushings are required
nice little movement. However, here's what can happen. Get it all back together. I'm going to wind the keys that things up. That one's fine. Over here, listen. End of the spring is off the hook. Center of the barrel. So, that's what I got to do. Take the whole thing apart again. At least take everything off the front so I can get to the barrel. And uh, got to remove some stuff just so it doesn't get bent up. So. <sighs> Back to square one. Okay, took it apart. And got the spring hook back on the barrel, tighten it upright, put it all back together. And uh, we got her going. Adjust the hammer. Get it to working. this stuff. Take a look at that trademark again. Still think it's Carl Warner. Okay, we're test running it. Pendulum is on. This has been a real booger because Somebody messed with the pallet adjustments on these and this one and it's been a booger to get it back into its proper configuration. I don't know. Taking you here is the cuckoo clock on the test stand up here. The little shop gets kind of crowded in the winter time when I have to bring my pond plants in, my tropical pond plants, put them under the artificial lights. It's crowded in this place. Well, let's we'll see if it keeps running now. I had a heck of a time keeping it running. I think I finally got it adjusted where it's right. We'll see. I bent it slightly, so now let's see. 1130. Now we should get 12. One. One thirty. Two. Nope. Okay. Just made a little tiny tweak of bending the leading edge of that forward just a tad it was hanging up just enough that was causing a problem at around two o'clock so now that's tweaked and we're ready to go okay and this is uh, what I think is a Carl Werner 
movement although the trademark on it this does look somewhat like reminiscent of Carl Warner's trademark which is a horseshoe with a C and a W on it it's got a C and an H and it is in the form of a kind of a wreath but uh, anyway here's this movement all restored cleaned and ready to go so we'll put the dial on it I've redone the dial uh, cleaned it up took it all apart polished it up cleaned it up I don't know what the heck these numbers were that were scratched into the bezel three 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 two eight seven six three three Boy, that sure sounds like a social security number. Uh, 7633. It's scratched there. It's also scratched on the other side of the bezel. Same number. And, uh, can't get it to show up here. But it's, there it is. 3332876333. So, uh, don't know what that is. And there's the pendulum all redone. Oh, let's see if I can get this back together. Okay, got it running. Face and hands are on. All I gotta do now is get the glass in the case, mount this inside the case, and she's ready to go. I don't want to know who does crap like this. Look at that, quote, screw. And that, quote, screw. I need to take this case apart so that I can fix this big crack down the middle. And this broken crack here. I'm standing here, I'm thinking, boy, somebody filed off or something, so that slot and that screw. I'm trying to get a screwdriver in, I can't make it work, can't make it work, can't make it work. So I'm grabbing a hold of it with a pair of pliers turning and I'm turning and turning and turning and nothing's happened. Well if you grab a hold of it and you pull you find out who does stuff like that? That's not even a screw. Somebody took a nail cut a slot in the end make it look like a screw. Boy I'll tell you what there are sure some morons out there. And here's another one for the books this door was cracked. Okay, it had a gap, about an eighth inch. Had to take the glass out of it, fix the door. Now, now the door is fixed. Guess what? The glass won't go back in. Who in the hell has a glass cut for a door with the door in a broken condition? As when the door is in its proper condition, the glass no longer fits. So if somebody had the glass cut, put it in there when the door was broken. So I either have to get a new glass made, or I'm going to find a way to grind the edge of this off, make it fit. I just can't believe the stupidity of people to do things like this. Alright, so I have some diamond grits here came off of sharpening blocks. And what I've done is I've just spent some time sitting here going around the edges with it. Taking all of the sharp edges off as well as grinding down the outside edges, diamond embedded surface pretty nicely grinds into that keep taking it over to the clock and it finally fits <laughs> 